Wendy D here of Pure Jeevan with Leela Mata of Peace of Valley Ashram. Thanks for being with us again, Leela. Thank you. <laughs> Today I wanted to ask you about raw foods. I know I was really surprised when I came to visit that, that you had already known what, about raw foods. So can you tell me like when you were exposed to the idea of eating only raw foods? Well, I first started a long time back in Guyana. Uh, must have been about maybe 34 years or so, because that's how old my youngest son is. I was studying a bit of um, naturopathic um, ways. Mm -hmm. And at that time, I um, I was just beginning to have asthma because it's, it's like kind of running our family. Oh, mm -hmm. And then I didn't want to have this taken given to the baby. So I thought, what can I do? And I got inspired to fast on grapefruit juice. And I did this for two weeks, but I was already uh, like eight months pregnant. Wow. So it was almost a crazy thing to do, but I, I just was in my adventurous days and I did it. Mm -hmm. It turned out okay, that my son is fine, everything is good, but everyone was really mad and upset with me for doing this because they thought... It's this, radical. Yeah, it's not good. Uh, but he doesn't have asthma, so that's a good thing. <laughs> so you felt because of the naturopathic? I felt because learnings? I was on this um, very um, cleansing diet and um, pure, fresh, you know, just grapefruit, that um, according to Ayurveda, the ama was removed and it helped. Oh, that's great. Yeah, so he was not given this asthma, which is kind of happens when you, if you're asthmatic, your children often get it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this doesn't happen. Another time I spent um, some time at the uh, Hippocrates Institute, and there I was teaching meditation, mm -hmm. and I was allowed to become part of the program for like a week of just raw foods. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed that very much, but. Um, I didn't, I thought I would lose weight. I didn't until I put on. I was surprised. <laughs> but I have to say, when I did your weekend here, mm -hmm. it was really amazing. You know, they often say if you're, um, when you see these moons on your nails, it's a very uh, positive sign for health mm -hmm. because it means that your nervous system and your circulatory system are functioning very well. And I found after just a weekend of your um, raw food diet here at the ashram, that was visible. Wow. More than it was before. Oh, that's great. So that was a very positive sign. <laughs> I read before that um, sometimes it's an indication of minerals too, if you have enough minerals. Yes. Uh, yeah, that's true. But uh, this is, you know, just the, the nerve endings huh, coming up here. Mm -hmm. Also the blood supply, the nutrition. So it does show this little um, white, not white, lighter color. They call the moon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yes. It's there. <laughs> and so you had said the um, the other episode that we had filmed with you that if, if people are raw foodists and they do want to come and visit you here at Peaceful Valley, that it would be okay for them to continue with their raw food oh, diet. Oh yes, yes. We would invite them very much not only to continue with, but if they would like to share their ideas and maybe others who are here would become interested and benefit from it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. Usually it's um, not always uh, that people don't want to, but they don't have discipline. So if they get introduced and they can find it beneficial, they might, you know, invest the energy to really practice and do it. Mm -hmm. And so you have a, a beautiful garden here, and we'll, we'll show that in a future episode, mm -hmm. but um, would they be able to eat from the garden as well? Oh yes, yes. <laughs> That's what we want to happen eventually. We want to be able to have, all, you know, just about everything from the garden. Of course, that would mean we need to have a good gardener, mm -hmm. and also I'm looking into how we can do um, a greenhouse, mm -hmm. yeah, so we can have a greenhouse and uh, maybe uh, farming the ground like geothermal heat so we can have the right heating and stuff for that. That's great. And so you, um, when I was here was over a year ago, you had planted fruit trees. And yeah. so how are they doing? They have been doing so well, mostly because they've been neglected. Because every time, <laughs> each winter I'm not here mm -hmm. and then the, you know, the upkeep falls down. Then I come back in um, it May, then it starts again. Mm -hmm. So the plants suffer a little bit. But I'm looking for good people, good gardeners, good karma yogis to come and really uh, participate in this. Because what I have here is I'm thinking of a place where people can really come and uh, discover themselves and find the things that they can be good at, you know? Mm -hmm. For instance, we have this um, 
Eileen, she came here and she has this dream of um, doing cob buildings, you know, making homes out of mud and straw. Mm -hmm. And her idea, her dream is actually to um, take this to people who can't afford a home, especially like even in third world countries. Right. Mm -hmm. And so I invited her to come here and experiment because she doesn't have the experience and to experiment and see how, you know, how well she can do this and to get, sharpen her techniques and build them. And then eventually she will have a chance to take it to wherever she wants to. So it's like a little birthing ground. <laughs> That's beautiful. And for me, Pure yeah. Jivan was pretty much birthed here. Yeah, I, I like to know that. I like when things like that can happen. So just last week we um, had, um, we built a oven, a cob oven out of earth. Yeah. Oh, we'll have to go and take a look yeah, at that for another yeah. episode. So things like that, I want people to really be able to find their joy, find their passion. <laughs> That's beautiful. And at the same time, use it to help other people. Because that's, that's the whole purpose. Yeah, if you have something that's really precious to you, it unless you can share it, and you know it doesn't grow. And when you can share it, and you can teach other, it becomes big. Yeah, <laughs> and very satisfying. Mm -hmm. So this is like my playground. Yeah, I'm inviting people to come play with me. That's great. And Lila means playful, yes. right? Yes. <laughs> the playful one. Yeah. Well, thank you. Mm. Mm-hmm. <laughs>